we're going to do now is we're going to look at how we can adapt our crochet model to other viruses and and viruses have been isolated from from every living thing you can think of so as well as humans um, animals um, birds uh, they've been isolated from fish from amphibians from reptiles from plants from trees from bacteria even from from other special viruses but the one we're going to look at uh, is this nasty little critter called deformed wing virus which is an important cause of disease in honeybees it gets its name from the effects some of the most obvious effects you can see here in this image of a honeybee which is completely flightless because you can see its wings are completely uh, shriveled and deformed that poor little thing is not going to live very long now uh, in this image here this is a lovely computer generated image of the of, of a single deformed uh, wing virus particle and you can see the model I've created so the um, basic sphere I've changed the color to match the model I've changed it to yellow and the deformed wing virus doesn't have spike proteins but its surface is decorated with these um, flower like studs and so that's what I've changed here. So I've created these flower like studs and I've sewn them on with some green yarn. So what I'll show you how to do is to create, I've got a little hole left for the last little stud, which is um, specialized viral protein. We'll create that and we'll sew it on in, in green yarn. So the way in which I've created these flower like studs it's very similar to what we've already done. So we're going to start off by making a knot around the crochet hook. Don't tie this too tight. And then to chain two. So one, two. And I'm now going to make five double crochet in the first chain. So one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to attach that last double crochet to the first double crochet just by putting the crochet hook through, pulling the yarn through, through and then snipping that and fastening it off so that should be nicely tied off. I'm then going to sew that on into that last space on my deformed wing virus surface. Just a few stitches to make sure that's nicely attached and I'm then going to snip off Weave away these last strands of yarn and snip those off. So I've just attached that last viral capsid protein, the structure that looks like a little flower on the surface, and I'm copying the geometry of this computer generated image and I'm just Decorating the surface with some green yards. Now, strictly speaking, the deformed wing virus is not spherical. It's an icosahedron, which is a, it, it's a polyhedron with, with 20 faces. So this is why I'm, I'm following the geometry to make it look as much like the computer generated image as possible. And I'm just going to finish that last stitch. That's five. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to snip that off. And there's my completed model of the deformed wing virus. So we're going to end there. Um, I hope your models turn out really well. I hope this is the closest you'll get 
to any of the virus that causes COVID-19. I'd love to see the models that you've created, either of the virus that causes COVID-19 or any other virus you'd like to create. Um, please take any images and, and send them in to the virtual Maracamp site. I'd love to see them. Invent your own ones too. <laughs>